Hi, I'm Chef with Precision. Today I'm going to show you how to put on TS-108 S8, which is a rear hatch seal for a C4 Corvette 1984 to 1996. On a scale of 1 to 5, 5 being the most difficult, it's a pretty simple job. One or two tools you're going to need are a weather strip installation tool, a screwdriver set. Let's get started. First thing you're going to have to do is remove all the plastic trim back here. There's three pieces held on with a lot of screws. So we're going to start back here. This one's actually broken but there's a screw right here. And this you're not going to be able to take completely off because of the strut tower. Well it's kind of loosened up so we can get this off right here. access to the actual molding and it's a friction fit so we just need to pull it right off now you're going to have a little bit of glue from the factory When we get here, there's this little U-channel trim, kind of pull off a little bit, give us a little more clearance with this piece. As you can see, there's some adhesive, we'll clean that off. Next, to actually get this off, you can either cut it, or you're going to have to take the strut mounts off anyway to put the new one on. So why don't we go ahead and do that. Okay, what we need to do now is remove the strut from the glass. There's two things you need to do here. First is disconnect the wire to the heating element for your back window. Now this might be a little corroded, a little stuck on, but if you wiggle it back and forth, kind of gently pull it off, it'll come off. Second is to remove the C-clamp that's actually holding the strut to the ball joint. So you want to take either a weather strip tool like this, or a screwdriver if you want, come down. Pry it off. Set that off to the side. And now, the glass is heavy so you don't want to do both at the same time. So now that you have it, it'll pull off, set it down, then remove the actual gasket. Now put this back on here. You don't have to put the C-clamp in at this point, but be aware that it's going to hold it for right now. We're going to repeat the process on the driver's side here. Same thing. Just pull gently on the wire here to get it disconnect and then pry off the C-clip here. Once again, support the glass when you pop this off. Put this back on. Now we're going to take some time to clean up all the leftover adhesive and all the dirt that's down in here. Okay, we're going to reinstall it now. And what we need to do is 
take this off again and slide the new molding over it. I'm going to put this back and I'm going to put the C-clamp back on right away because we're done now removing this and this will help lessen the chance of things falling apart. So I got it started here by just putting one end in using the weather strip installation tool to kind of open it up and slide it over. Now just going to push it back down. back on. Now I'm going to just reconnect the heater lead here and we'll repeat for the other side. Same exact thing here. I notice I have to support this otherwise the one strut is going to collapse and the glass will close. Same idea of putting the spring clip to kind of start from the top and then get it going here. That's on. Now we'll reconnect the heater lead. Now we're going to install the actual weather strip. You notice the channel right here is going to go over the pinch weld. You're going to want to start in the corner. These are going to be the hardest spots. So what you need to do is kind of slide it onto this pinch weld here and slide it into the corner in order to get this piece over it. Uh, make sure that this channel lines up with this while you're sliding it back. Make sure it seats all the way into the corner here. And it's kind of work your way out a little bit. So let's get it started. And then we're gonna, just going to work our way across the top section here. Okay, we worked our way to the other corner here. Same idea, kind of push it on right here and slide it. And make sure it's all the way down in the corner. And you notice it kind of looks a little big, but you just got to kind of work it back on itself. To work out the slack here, you might have to come back to this corner. It may have kind of lifted out. So you want to push it back down. Make sure everything's tight. And just kind of keep working it back and forth until you get all the excess out of it. There, one look too big, fits perfect. Okay, we'll continue along the back here. 
And remember the trim has to go over it. Once you got it on, you'll just have to go back and keep get the trim over it and then replace all the screws. Alright, we got all the trim on over it except this last piece. It's going to be basically the same both sides. And it's kind of tight, but you need to get it up and the problem is going to be right here in the corner. You can pull this off a little bit, but take a, the weather strip tool. And what you got to have to do is have to get it up over this without breaking this piece. So Go slow, gentle, and just kind of pull it up and then kind of twist a little bit with this real slow, kind of work it through and then pull it back as you get it up over here, pull it back this way because this is actually a radius corner right here that fits over here. So, so up and back. There. All you gotta do is start replacing the screws. As with any trim, just snug them down. You don't want to over tighten them or you'll start cracking everything. Remember this one piece was broken we started it so we just got this screw here to put in. That's it, you're done. We hope you found this video informative. Follow us on Facebook or contact us via the links below in the description of the video. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our latest videos and also demand the precision products from your favorite auto parts supplier.